Hi, my name is Steven Rossell with Autodesk and we're here at uh, Casual Connect 2010 in Seattle talking about how Maya can be used for content creation for casual games. So we've already talked about uh, modeling and animation tools in Maya. Now I want to show you some of the additional tools that you can use to create animated objects and things like sprites for 2D games. So here you'll see a library of a variety of different types of objects from flowers to things like feathers to things like trees. These are all procedural, uh, procedurally built objects. So for instance, if I wanted to create a tree, I simply choose the type of tree that I want and then I just click in the viewport and it will automatically build that tree. If I want to add more trees, I just simply click and drag and I can paint those directly into my scene. This is called paint effects. So paint effects being procedural can also be animated procedurally. So if I just cl simply click play, depending on the uh, object that I've created, it can have animation built into it that basically will just play essentially based on uh, parameters that I've, that I've predefined. So you can see here the tree is swaying in the wind and the leaves are blowing. Now I can actually go into the attribute editor for this node and I can actually begin to change some of the other parameters. So for instance, if I want to add a little bit of twist to the tree, you can see how I can interactively adjust that twist and it'll start to change the orientation of the leaves around the trunk. I can also go in and I can begin to change things like the length of the trunk if I wanted to make it short and squatty or, or tall and skinny, uh, as well as things like the number of uh, segments along the, the distance for the branches and things like that. Ultimately, this can all be rendered out as a simple animated sprite, so you see if I render this out, I'll have essentially a, uh, a 2D image with an alpha that would allow me to composite this into uh, a 2D game uh, as a sprite. So other examples of dynamic and procedural tools that we have in Maya for quickly and easily generating these types of animation uh, are, for instance, InCloth. InCloth is a tool set that basically allows you to take a simple object and convert it into a dynamic uh, cloth object. So here you see I have a simple plane that's essentially a flag. And if I play this back in what's called interactive mode, I can actually begin to manipulate this uh, interactively and actually test the behavior of this animation. So I could link this to another character or I could link this uh, to an object and basically render out animation that could be used as a sprite as well. Or this could be actually exported as uh, animated mesh for something like a 3D game. So in addition to uh, in addition to paint effects and in cloth we also have something called fluids. So fluids uh, is a very a very powerful system for creating really elaborate special effects like uh, smoke and like clouds, but can also be used to create simple 2D animations. So what you see here is a candlestick that basically has a fluid object attached to it so that it's emitting this smoke. This is interactive as well in the same way that I was interacting with the in cloth uh, from before. If I go into interactive mode and begin to move this lamp around, you can see that the, the fog or rather the smoke coming out of the lamp is actually tied to it and as I adjust it or as I animate it, this will uh, affect the behavior of the smoke. Now the nice thing about this is this is just a simple 2D animation. So I can actually render this out again as a sprite animation and I can, I can embed this into a 2D game as a sprite. So other examples would be something like an explosion. This is actually a little bit more complex. You can see here I've got uh, what starts out as a fireball and then ends up uh, in, as a kind of an animated smoke. If I actually render this out, just like I had with the paint effects example before, I end up with a, a bitmap animation with an alpha that allows me to essentially composite that into uh, a game. So those are just some of the examples of the procedural and dynamic tools that you can use in Maya for creating uh, casual game sprite animations.